Hi everyone. Today I am going to show you the easiest way to find the implicit enhancement for enjoy transactions. Now I took an example of purchase order transaction ME21 yen or ME22 yen. Here I choose some example purchase order. Here let's take a small requirement of uh, think that uh, modifying this quantity to 2 or something like that for it's only for example I'm just showing so how do I find the implicit enhancements for this particular field so for that first we need to find out the screen where this field is inserted click on F1 and select technical information so here in this technical information the screen number which you saw on the top is the screen where the field is present so simply copy that field copy the screen number and close this now click on slash slash h so that it will activate the debugging now simply click enter now in the new debugger we have so many options now I'm going to show, show you how to use this watch point because this is the watch point which is going to help us to find out the exact screen location if you see in this enjoy transaction there are lot of screen loaded on the runtime so if you go manually and find out each screen by screen you cannot find it it's very hard it will waste your time a lot of time so this is the easiest way so to find the to find the screen location so create a watch point for the variable Psi GYNNR which is standard system field and pass the condition Psi GYNNR equals to the screen number. Click OK. Now simply continue it. It will take us to this PAI. So SYDYNNR field our screen has come up. Now let's debug a few steps to find out the PAI logic of the screen and how do you know when the screen has come if you see any modules or methods which has a name of the screen number that's it you found the spot now it's your turn to impl do the implicit enhancements now from here how can I go to that screen I don't want to copy that I don't want to copy that include direct want to go to the screen so here you click on program or include line you can see a program button here click on that it will open a new window of the screen where this logic is there yes now it is a method so we can do the implicit enhancement let's show you how to do it now enhance it click on show implicit enhancement now just this method module method uh, ours was transport from time pro this was the method that we want to the enhancement see method transport from time pro so here so it should turn now simply select it and click on create implementation I'm just doing it for a small thing so code so create a small one here or you, you can select declaration there that will also help us test me21 
n test now it will create the implicit enhancement and simply click on local object it's fine because it's only the sample one so select it and click on ok now if we have got the control here think that if, if you see the above code it means that it has data has been moved from the screen variable to this the internal structure so where the values is getting stored so here if you see which we want to modify uh, it's pivo quantity oh I didn't select that field okay let's that's fine Uh, okay, this is Matner. Uh, there are a few fields are there. I didn't remember that. Okay. Mm. Let's simply pass something and find out that. Okay, I'm simply passing it. Activate. Actually, this is how uh, we can actually find the easiest way to do the implicit enhancement. This is it's on DAI. Same thing if you want to do some screen modifications like activating, deactivating, making this mandatory of the, these kind of things, then same thing we need to do for PBO. How simple. We have activated the watch point so it will trigger for PBO also. See, it has triggered. Now, debug steps you will get the control and simply do the enhancement. That's it. Yes, you saw here we, we can see 13W1. This is our screen number. You can write your logic here as how we did in PAI that will work thank you guys please comment if you have any questions thank you very much